So it's time for a quick seedling update. To be honest, it's a couple of weeks late for a seedling update. And that's because I hardly sow anything really in June. There's a few little things behind me which I'll show you, but I, I just really like to take a rest from gardening in June after kind of a busy spring. And uh, I need that rest. And, you know, I'm just starting now to gradually get a bit of an interest again in gardening because you know, I'm starting to prepare for autumn and winter and spring. So let's take a look. So I don't normally actually have the seedlings in here, but we've had some really strong winds and rain and everything. So I brought the seedlings in here just to keep them away from the worst of the weather. And uh, it just makes it convenient for me to film this update. So here we've got Red Admiral and Red Fighter. So those are two purple sprouting broccolis. Basically, they just come uh, ready in winter and early spring. And we've got a few more of those over here. And then down the bottom there, okay, nice and slow, we've got some Claret. So basically, and that's the one that comes ready in late spring. So we should have a successional harvest of purple sprouting broccoli all through winter and spring. And I've just started these little seedlings here. So we've got some kale, some chard, some chicory, some lettuce, some more uh, kale there, and a whole load of different lettuces. So. This is a fairly important sowing. These are the ones we'll be eating in August, sort of mid-August, at a time when I often don't do a very good job of having a good supply of lettuce. So keep on trying to improve. Then in here, hard to see, but I've got salad onions, and they're the variety Guardsman. A few spare lettuces, most of the lettuces from that tray are actually outside and growing quite nicely. I just can't bring myself to throw those away, but uh, probably will do pretty soon. And then I've got some golden beets, and that's the last uh, tray of golden beets that I'll be sowing, or any type of beets that I'll be sowing this year. And the only reason I sowed those golden beets is because germination of that tray was a little bit patchy, and so I thought, I'll just do another tray just to give me a few extras. And then these are the rest of my storage beets. And uh, they're looking pretty good. In the main, germination was pretty good. And then down here, I've got some late celery. I have a few sessions of celery, basically, um, these are going to be the ones we'll be eating over winter and I've got some more as well that we'll be eating in the spring. Uh, so more to sow that we'll be eating in the spring. And then this is my last batch of tomatoes. These are the ones that are going to go outside in containers and they might actually end up having the end of their life in the polysol for a late crop. But uh, the earlier successions of those, these are tumbler, are all doing really nicely. And then I've got my last sowing of graffiti uh, cauliflowers. So these are the ones we'll be harvesting in the autumn, hopefully. And just a few more salad onions. And that is it. And anybody who watches my videos regularly knows that this is a pretty pitiful showing for the, all the seeds basically that I've sown in the whole of June. But uh, it's enough. It's enough to keep us going because every square inch of beds that we've got outside is all full anyway. So uh, I wouldn't have been able to get any more than this planted in July. So in a few days time, we'll have the sowing and growing video for July and August and things speed up a bit. So that'll be worth a watch. 
So if you want more details of anything that I've been sowing or planting or any other activities related to gardening, then take a look at my gardening ebook. There's a link to that in the description below. Scroll down until you get to the reference information section. And then there you'll find an entry for each month of the year. And if you scroll across there, you'll find the previous year's entries. So if we just take a look at June, then there's loads of information in here about what I actually plan to do and do in each month. So there's a kind of an overview for the month then there's diary entries for each week of the month. Then there's records showing what we harvested for each week of June. And then here's what we sowed or planned to sow in that month. And then here's what we planted in that month tour videos of the garden and the allotment plots, uh, what I plan to sow, video about what I plan to sow, and then my kind of weekly gardening week update videos. There's a lot. And then these are all the videos from previous Junes of any year. And so you can click on those and take a look. I, th I find that's really useful to look at previous years uh, to compare from year to year what's going on. And that, I think, is pretty much it. So I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.